Welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. Our weather is always sunny and beautiful. We should stop raining, actually. Anyways, as you can see, I've moved everything up off of this mountain and put it over here. And, oh my gosh. What? What is this? Is this, uh... Oh, whoa. It's a crafting table. Oh, no. And this? <gasps> it's got stuff in it. It's a chest! Yes, that's right. I used my... Uh, of course, the fire went out. I used my uh, new saw, my copper saw, to make this stuff with. So, let me show you how this is done. It's pretty cool. You see, I got a bunch of planks. And, uh, well, I got... These are the Terra Firma Craft planks. And these are the vanilla planks. Uh, to make the vanilla planks, though, you're going to need the Terra Firma Craft planks. So... We're going to, you can do it in your regular crafting window here. You don't actually need a crafting table. Uh, so I'm going to take this oak log and put it there. And it's going to give us oak planks. See that? It gives us eight oak planks. Uh, now if we were to take these oak planks and put them up in the crafting table just like that, it gives us a, just like a vanilla plank. So we can get, it looks like we can get two vanilla planks out of every log. So I'm going to put those in there. Get eight more, or a lot more of those. Not eight. Turn them all into planks. I got some chestnut planks now. There we go. Awesome. And all of these... Oh, I made too many, didn't I? Oh, that's okay. Let's see, there's five, six. Yeah, this will be seven and eight. Just got to make this one up too so I can get another chest. There we go. And you just make a chest like you normally would, but... Uh, so, that's how you make wooden stuff in Terra Firma Craft. And you'll notice that I can break my crafting table just like I normally could. Don't know about the chests. Now these chests, you can't just stick anything you want in them. Let me show you. I can't stick the stone hoe in there. No matter how hard I try, I cannot stick it in this chest. Why? Because you don't put hoes inside chests. They're too big. They're too heavy. And I'm dying of thirst. Uh, every item in Terra Firma Craft has a weight and a size. And chests will only accept items of certain weights and sizes. I think that the biggest size, or maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just size. I think the biggest size thing you can put in one of these chests is medium. I don't see anything larger than that, and most tools are large. So, you can see the first thing indicates how heavy it is, the second word indicates how big it is. So, these chests can only accept up to medium items, uh, for the most part. Like, I can stick all that stuff in there. I can't put the zinc ingot in there, though. So, uh, things like logs, you're supposed to put them in log piles. Ingots, you guessed it, ingot piles. If I were to put more ingots on that pile, they would actually be stacked up all nice and everything. So, actually, I'll put it right here. So, Chester is still a good idea, though. I mean, you never realize how much you miss chests until they're gone. And I'm going to go back up on top of this hill, just because it's nighttime. And... Actually, let me grab something real quick. 
Uh, I found some bismuthinite, some cassiterite, and I also found more sphalerite. The bismuthinite, I have no idea uh, if it gives you copper. I'm assuming it gives you bismuth. That's a pretty safe assumption, actually. But I don't, I don't think it gives you anything else other than that. I don't know for sure, though. Uh, regardless, I only found two pieces, so... Oh, man, I'm still missing things here. Um, so I don't think there's much I can do with that. The sphalerite, I definitely got enough to make a couple more ingots of zinc. I still have no idea what the zinc is used for. So, there's that. <laughs> Any regular? I guess not. Shell, pumpkins. You know what? I'll just just gonna take a couple of these. Let's take these molds. Let's take these ceramic molds. Anything else I need? Nope. I think I'm good. Uh, so yeah, I got enough to make a couple more ingots of zinc here. Still not quite sure what those are gonna be used for, but I found 31 tetrahedrite. So, I definitely have enough to make another tool. Uh, I just need to make a floor kiln, put all this stuff in there, and get it cooked up and pour it into the molds, and we can definitely make another tool. So, the question is, is what's the next tool I want to make? Well, I already made the mold for it. I'm going to make a pickaxe. And then we're going to find out just how difficult mining is. Trust me, it's no walk in the park. So I'm going to go ahead and dig these kilns and get this stuff started. You've already seen this before, so I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it with me. And then uh, when we're done, I'll be back, and we'll get to work on our first mining expedition. Sounds fun. See you in a few. Okay, our copper's done. So let's uh, pick that up. Open up the ceramic vessel. We got 310 units. That should be at least three ingots. Let's fill these babies up. That's 170 units. Oops. So it looks like the last mold isn't going to be full, which is okay. We have a partial mold just like we had before. You see this is all brilliant white liquid. So we have to hurry up with it. Uh, let's put it in our right here. Let's go ahead and make our pick mold. Awesome. Since I got two more, I'm going to make these other two tools as well. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was close. Okay, so we got our pick. Uh, let's make our axe. Axe, there we go. Why does it keep doing that? So pick, axe, and mace. And there's the mace head. Awesome. We are moving along. I'll be honest, I did not expect for uh, production of metal tools to be coming along this quickly, so let's get our mace. Oh, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Uh, let's get our pickaxe. I'm totally in love with. And our copper axe. Look at that. Look at that. We got a copper mace. What? Come at me, bro. Come at me, bra. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Got a copper pickaxe. I'm digging, digging, digging. I'm going to be digging. I'm going to be digging into rock. That's right. I got a copper axe. Chop down lots of trees with that baby. All right. And it also looks like this is done. So. Oops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Pick up this one. We got zinc 280 units. So we'll be able to make two and a partial 
uh, ingot with that. I couldn't think of what it was called for a second. It's like, ah. Get the rest of that in there. Like I said, well, I'm still not sure what to do with these ingots. You know, I mean, ingots are pretty cool also. We'll at least pile them up and just show off our wealth, I suppose. That'll work. Let's run back over here to our little base. I think coming up very soon, we need to start actually building a place to live as well. So there we go. Oh, three zinc ingots. We are just wow. Wow. I don't even know what else to say. Just wow. All right. I'm not worrying about this biz mythonite right now. All this other stuff can just kind of go back in there. I'm really not worried about a lot of this stuff. All right. Ceramic vessel. We don't need that. Looking good. How many torches? I'd like to get some torches. Let's start up this fire, get some torches going. Oops. Bam. Nope. Okay. This is a bit of a lengthy process just to get torches, but it's okay. We'll live. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm just going to get some torches and then we're going to go mining. Uh, another thing I'm going to need is support beams, but those actually are not too difficult to make. Now well, let's go ahead and make some more. We'll go through these quite quickly, so it's good to just have them on hand. Thirty-two torches. Awesome. Now, as far as supports go, I believe you just take a plank, put it in your crafting. No, two planks, man. I thought I could have swore that's how you made them. Hmm. It's not with the vanilla planks, is it? No. Uh, well, now. Maybe I don't know how to make... It's like this? No. Like this? No. Are these the supports? I don't think they are. I think that's just... You can just put sticks on top of each other like this, pretty much. You can actually build fences like this. It's kind of cool. Uh, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, uh, let me go and check this out. I'll be right back. So once again, I was very close, but... To, yeah, I just didn't have it quite right. Let's go ahead and put these planks back. I'm not going to need them. What I do need to do is take the logs, put them like this, put the stone axe in there with them, or no, the saw. There we go. We get vertical support beams. That's probably way too many, but that's okay. And then we put these ones this way, put the saw in with them, and we get horizontal support beams. And we are going to need both of those. Oops. We're going to need both of those in order to do what we need to do. Uh, this episode is getting a little too long, so I'm going to leave you guys with a teaser. I'm going to start mining, and then uh, 
I'm just going to stop the episode. Yep. So let's run over here. This is where I want to build my mine at anyways. There's a good spot for it. I'm going to try and just go right into a wall if I can. And I need my shovel. Yeah, I don't know how much dirt is here. Hopefully it's not too much. This whole thing is going to come tumbling down. I didn't bring any sticks or shovels with me. Oh, good. You chance to try out my new mace. Man, it's taking a while, but there we go. <laughs> That's right. Got a mace. I'm just going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, tune in next time to see me dig into the side of a mountain. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If there's anything else that you guys think I should be doing or that, uh, can help improve this series, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Or if you just absolutely love everything I do, let me know that as well. Uh, if you hate me, don't comment. It's cool. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.